What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Strike Up Beer. Quick beer reviews with your pals, Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. What's up, buddy? Not much, man. Just living the dream. Got another banger from Martin House. I could tell you that already. Uh, Martin House Puppy Chow. This is a stout with powdered sugar, chocolate, peanut butter, lactose, and checks. 8% alcohol by volume. I actually don't mind most of the ingredients on this. And now, we were just talking about... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead no, go ahead. I was going to say, like, uh, so there's... I've had variations of this where, of course, there's puppy chow, but then there's a... They call it, like, reindeer poop when you make it at home, and it's because it's got, like, extra little chocolate morsels or something in there. It's not because it's made with actual poop. Crystal makes it, and so we've had it a couple times. It's really okay. damn good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so oh, it's oh, holiday nostalgia at its finest. The beautiful creation existed in homes from Thanksgiving to Christmas in many families. If you don't know Puppy Chow, let's do a quick lesson. If you don't know, now you know. First, you melt together chocolate chips and peanut butter. Then you pour it over checks and stir together in a big bowl. Then you add a big box of powdered sugar to a brown paper bag, pour in the goodness, and shake it up. Mm -hmm. That's how we used to make it anyways. The liquid version of Puppy Chow with sweet, chocolatey, peanut butter treat that's 8% ABV really brings the whole thing together. Brings it, brings it together. Brings the whole yeah. thing together. Brings the whole thing together. <laughs> so yeah, I, to I love the way it looks. Nice, dark. Yeah, that nice head's little. nice and brown yep. on it, too. Do you smell it at all? That's... Just, it's pretty good. It's chocolatey, peanut buttery. That's, I mean, those two things, that's, they always work well together, don't they? I don't know about, I don't need like little, lactose. What, 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 what the hell does lactose taste like? I don't Like, I you don't know, because you see it on their beers we, and they put it in there. I go mean, buy some lactose. I don't want, I don't can, like can lactose. Can you just buy lactose? I don't like lactose. I'm, you know, I don't drink milk or any of that kind of stuff and because it hurts my tummy. My tummy gets a little upset. You're a little upset. A little upset. You're a little uh, old. My tum tum. I am old. getting old. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's got a little sweet at the end mm -hmm. that kind of lingers a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, up front it's, it's chocolate, it's peanut butter. It, it tastes like puppy chow. So that's what, so puppy chow, I know, I know the powdered sugar thing and some chocolate. I didn't know it had like peanut butter in there and stuff like oh, yeah. that. So it has peanut butter. Uh -huh. All right. I mean, I might, maybe we should uh, get a bag of this. And I mean, you can't like Chex makes it. Yeah. It's called Muddy Buddies from uh -huh. Chex. Um, maybe we'll have some next. Maybe we'll have another can and some of that. How's that sound? Just listening to you chomp on Chex Mix just sounds the most, it just sounds phenomenal. Like, I'd just be living my best life at that point, just listening to you with one nostril fucking whistling while you're trying to just jam as many Chex I'm Mix. I'm sorry, I can only <laughs> breathe out of one side. And my nose busting when I was younger. I can only breathe out of one side of my yeah, nose. Your mouth breathing dummy. God, I'm <laughs> had surgery on it once. Mom never went, took me back to get the second surgery. Mom never came back. No. No, she dead now. So dad went out for smokes. Never came back either. He never even went out for smokes. He was just never there. <laughs> that was somebody. I can't remember what comedian it was or whatever. It's like back in the fifties. You didn't get divorced. You just left. You go like, hey, I'm gonna go get some smokes. I'll be back. You left yeah. with like a duffel bag. Moved twelve miles away. Yeah, and started was... a whole new life. He goes, that's without the internet. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot easier to go off the grid back then. Boy, was it. It is pretty damn tasty. It is. It really is. I didn't know what to think. I, you know, because you can look at the ingredients. You're like, okay, okay, okay. I like these. I like this. I like this. I like all of those. And then it comes out and it just kind of, it just throws you for a loop. You know what it is? It's the damn sour ones. Like that apple pie one. You're like, yeah. oh man, okay. I, like, I can get down with this. I get down with it. And then it's just so sour. It was so yeah, sour. Yeah. But it was, we had but it last this, night. So This is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... Good for you. Oh, Dr. Allen's in the I house. Mean, hey, Bend and over. at 8% by alcohol by volume, this will get you just just wrecked. Yeah, because the, the crushability on this is extremely high. Um, for sure. Yeah, this will just, yep. Now, did you get this straight from you went? You had to go to Martin House. This is a tap room exclusive. Right? Uh, no, no, they distribute this. Oh, okay. So you got it from like Total Wine or uh, like Target? Uh, Target? Not Target. Target? Not Target. Kroger? Kroger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kroger. Target. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, yeah, so it came from Kroger. That's not bad. Although I have seen it at Target, they just don't sell the individual cans. I, I did the, the make your own six pack at, at Kroger. Oh, okay, nice. I so. mean, that's there you go, right there. You can get it at your local Kroger or your uh, your beer store. I, I mean, uh, a hack just for people that live here in the DFW area. That's the cheapest way to get the Martin House beers because you get a six pack for ten bucks, and normally you're getting a four pack for uh, of just the same beer. Yeah, fifteen bucks, for sixteen bucks, twelve, thirteen bucks, I think. Yeah. Typically, sometimes a little bit more of the tall boys, mm -hmm. but you can get those tall boys and they can do the individuals on those too. And you just, <laughs> just start stuffing the 19.2s yeah. or the 16 ounces or whatever. Yeah. Nice. Uh, big thumbs up for me. I highly uh, I enjoyed it and I recommend it. It definitely gets a 
So. Oh yeah, delicious. It just it it's everything you would ever hope and dream a beer would be. Yeah, and if anybody uh, can get me a Longhorn Gnome to have up here, uh, so whenever it comes down to it, they just you know, wipe the floor with them in their ass. You know that'd be nice. But they're gonna get beat by Alabama, so. Texas won't have a chance, or it won't be playing. Okay. okay, let's get out of here. This guy. Anyways, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Alan. Robert Dave. Talk to you guys later. Deuces.